this video guys we talk about the enemy tagging system and the effect it has on farming bosses and beyond this is a system i don't feel everyone knows about and there's definitely things going on here with this system we definitely don't know about all of us how's it going guys my name's dpj and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe so the other day I posted a video on watermarks and the gear score system in this game. That's a system I really don't mind and I feel it's a system I feel most people won't even notice is in place. Now what we talk about today uh, is something very very different. This system is known as enemy tagging or kill crediting and the effect it has on the player is well kind of crazy. So confirmed by a dev on Dr. Lupo's stream is a system in place which I feel most people won't agree with. I mean, if you do agree with this, uh, let me know down below why. So this system, how I can explain it quickly. So basically, let's say you are in a group of five players and you are farming an elite boss for his dedicated drops or just drops in general. That boss's loot pool is 100% dedicated to those five players in that one group. Now if another team comes along, another group of 5 players and they start farming the same boss at the same time as that first group of 5 players, that boss's dedicated loot pool now splits two ways, meaning 50% for one team, 50% for the other team. If more groups come and start farming, no matter the amount of players in said groups, that boss's loot pool again splits. So if there's 4 groups, no matter the number in each group, that boss's loot pool splits 4 ways. Here is the even crazier thing. If a solo player comes along and also starts farming this boss with those four other teams, then the boss's loot pool then splits five ways, counting that solo player as a team. So basically, if there's four teams of five players and then six solo players all farming that same boss, that loot pool is split ten ways. Now this is a system, like I said, which is confirmed to be in the game. And I do think it's a system used in more than just a loot also. So this system basically confirms the more people, the more players, the more individual groups farming the same boss at the same time, the less likely you are to get those drops. And also, but not confirmed, is something I have 100% noticed, is another kind of system like this. Say I'm doing a quest and I have to kill a certain elite enemy. And at the same time, there are others who are doing the same quest and they need to kill that enemy too. Even if I hit that enemy but don't do much damage because there's a team of 5 level 60s and they've just destroyed it, it won't count for me. That kill won't count for me. I've also seen this with XP and killing groups of ads too. Now I've posted many enemy kiting farms where I gather up a group of enemies, lead them back and then destroy them. I've noticed even when I get multiple hits on these targets, a lot of the time when they die or are killed by other players not in my group because I haven't killed them, I don't get the XP. So taking this into account with the issue of not getting enough damage into an enemy to complete a quest, not doing enough damage to an enemy to earn XP when it dies, is there a system in place which means the group that does the most amount of damage to that elite boss they are farming, the higher their chance of getting those dedicated drops? I mean we have a couple of answers, but we need more. There's clearly a system in place here which we don't know about, or kinda do like these today but we need a little more elaboration on them. Now the whole uh, loot splitting system that's in place, the enemy tagging system, which is confirmed to be in place, like I said, a dev confirmed this on a Dr. Lupo stream. This is a system which really doesn't make sense to me. In a way, it kind of makes sense when you tie it with a PvP aspect to the game, a group of players fighting for that loot. But when they're working together, why is it split? I also don't like the idea of if I'm playing in a team of five, we farm in a boss, a solo player can come along and basically troll us and probably get the loot for all our work. So there are many, many question marks over this actual system. But yeah guys, tell me your thoughts on the enemy tagging system within this game and also the kill crediting system. And let me know if you've noticed any instances where they just haven't seemed to make sense. And on that note, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by and hopefully I will see you on that next one.